Hello everyone, welcome to Entertainment Today. I'm Christina Pantos. Let's play catch up on the latest celebrity dish. It looks like Britney Spears will hit us, baby, one more time with her new album, Circus. Despite reports that the Comeback Kids' new album wasn't going to drop until the spring of next year, the pop star's music label, Jive Zomba, announced that the date would be moved up to December 2nd, which also happens to be Britney's 27th birthday. Womanizer, the first single off circus, will hit radio airwaves September 22nd. The big news comes on the heels of Britney's impressive triple win last weekend at the MTV Video Music Awards and after weeks of positive media coverage where Brit's been sporting a spelt new bod. It looks like Brit's back on top. Now let's see what's happening over at the box office. The Dark Knight is still breaking all box office records, becoming the third biggest U.S. movie of all time. Now into its sixth week, the Batman sequel has raked in almost half a billion dollars. It now sits in the number four spot. Death Race, the action thriller packed with violence, snags the number three spot. Hopping into the number two spot is the sexy comedy, The House Bunny, starring the oh-so-adorable Anna Faris. But Tropic Thunder attacks the number one spot as audiences prefer the action comedy starring funny guys Ben Stiller, Jack Black and Robert Downey Jr. That's it for our summer weekend box office update. Now on to the film festival. The city is once again busting with celebrities and stargazers as the 2008 Toronto International Film Festival takes the city by storm. Familiar Hollywood faces will strut their stuff along the red carpet as hundreds of hopeful fans line up to catch a glimpse of their favorite stars. I'm here at Roy Thompson Hall, the hub of gala activity where only the highest profile films are being showcased. Tonight, I'm going to check out the special presentation of me and Orson Welles, starring Zac Efron and Claire Danes. With autographs head in hand, I'm Christina Pantos for Entertainment Today.